Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a fat tech house kick in Ableton Live 10 using stock samples. So for this we're going to use the 909 core kit. The reason I say this is because Ableton have got some really nice drum bus settings which makes the, the 909 kick sound really really tight. But we want to make it sound even tighter so what we'll do, we'll create a kick pattern here. Bring the volume down, say minus 10, just so we've got enough headroom when we start creating the rest of the track for the rest of the sounds and for more processing. And what we'll do is very quickly, we'll add, let's get rid of these channels here. Let's add some EQ. So add EQ, cut it around maybe 25 hertz, just so none of the, the subby frequent, the muddy frequencies are coming through. I'd say cut it around 200 hertz because the 909 kicks is a little bit boxy so we'll get rid of some of those frequencies there and give it a wee boost higher up maybe a little bit more cool now that we have that sorted we'll put a bit of compression on it just to take away some of the low end the really low end cool now that we have that here that's our kick pretty much sorted. Now what we'll do is we're going to create another channel doing the exact same thing. So we're going to have another kick in here. So we'll run this at the same time. Now let's grab a kick sample. Now what we want to grab here is uh, something that's a bit more punchy, something that's got more presence. Because the 909 kit is just bass. You want something that's going to fill up the middle end. So let's get something here. Something maybe with a bit more top. Okay, that'll do. So we'll drag this in here. Okay, it's a little bit much. And it's also not at the right note. Your samples are automatically load into middle C. Okay, so that's a bit much. So what we'll do, this is a little technique I got from a producer called Houseworks, is if we take an EQ here, we cut it around. 200 hertz. We'll bring the volume down. Bring the release out so that you'll get the full tail of the kit. And then what we can do here is we'll put these in a group. Command G, rename, call them kicks. Command the R to rename. And this is a wee technique I got from a producer called Max Chapman. If we create a new return track, this is what's going to give your kicks a lot of sub. So on this return track, we will put a compressor and we'll also put an EQ. Now the EQ we're going to cut dramatically under 100 hertz. And we're going to compress maybe to minus 25 something. Very fast attack, completely brick, brick wall. This is so we're going to parallel compress it and we're also going to cut it below 100 hertz. Now what this does, because we have this on a send and return track, we get to send as much or as little of the signal to the send and return track. So if we listen to it here and we bring this up, you can hear how much of a, you can hear how much of a difference it makes to the, the bottom end of your kick because it's only, it's only interacting with the frequencies under 200, under 100 hertz. So it's up to you how high you want it, depending on how subtle you want your track. Now what I would recommend, to maybe bring the release of this up a little bit to give it some more presence. Cool, another thing that we can do on the channel, the group channel, to bring the, these two sounds together, is glue compress them together. Add some saturation at the bottom end. Make sure we're gain staging when we do this. So we look at what the, so this is coming through at 9.84. We put the glue compressor on it. We've lost a wee bit through the compression. Let's maybe put yeah, 0 0.2. We can hear what it's doing there. Saturate, let's do the same. So that's adding an extra 3 dB. 
what we'll do is we'll give it a bit of drive as well to give it some weight a soft sign here okay so that's really pushed up so what we can do is bring the output down so it's the same volume it was before so if we listen to it now that just gives it a little bit of extra weight and something that I use is a bit of overdrive tiny little bit of overdrive doesn't have to be much down at the bottom end as well have to dry and wet very like hardly even on and again gain stage by putting a utility plug in on it we also want the sound to be mono as well so if we mono the signal that basically means it comes just straight down the middle there's no spill coming out the other side and we'll take away the point three oops point zero point three Oops, minus <laughs> 0 0.3. So we can put these in a rack by pressing Command G. That puts them in an audio effects rack so we can listen with and without. And there we go. We've gone from having a just a, nine, a 909 kick on its own, sounding very lonely, giving it some bottom end adding some weight to it with this bad boy with your little click we'll call this a click because it's it's the click adding that on top of it putting some processing on top of it blue compression saturator overdrive and utility and we have a nice weighty sounding tech house kick hope this helps guys